This is lesson 6 for the 9 by 9 Ken Ken without multiplication, division, subtraction, or addition signs. And we're going to tackle something that's going to look real tough in the beginning. The 189. You should know immediately that it's not divisible by 2, obviously, because it's an odd number. But it is divisible by 3 because 1, 8, and 9 do add up to a number that's divisible by 3. Right? 1 plus 8 is 9, and 9 is 18, and 18 is divisible by 3. So let's divide it by 3, which gives us 63, which is also divisible by 3, which gives us 21, which obviously is divisible by 3, and that gives us a 7. Prime number, we're done. So we've got 3 to the third times 7. Now we can break that up into three cells. How can we break that up? Well, we can't multiply 7 by 3 because that'll be 21. That's too high. It's higher than 9. No go. So we can only break this up. We could break it up into a 1 and a 9, but we really can't because this is 27. 3 cubed. That's 3 times 3 times 3 times 7 when we expand this. So we can only make this a 9 and a 3 and a 7 or a 3 and a 9 and a 7. Either way, the only factors that come out of this that work are a 9, a 3, a 9, and a 7. And that means there must be a 3, either a 3, a 9, or a 7 in each of these cells. And that makes our life a little bit easier. Because we know we can get rid of this 3. It cannot possibly be a 3. Because one of these cells must have a 3 in it. What's nice about this uh, place system of notation is, look how cruddy this 3 looks. I'll make it nicer. But even if I didn't, we could never mistake it for an 8 or anything else because it's in the 3's place. So I think this visual system can be pretty helpful. Uh, should we tackle another one? Let's tackle another one in the next video. Let's make this a short one. See you in number seven.